Hey up everybody, how are we doing? Are we doing good? Spot on. Now, if I look a bit red, I've been doing my housework, so I'm a bit hot, so I've got nice rosy cheeks. So today, I am doing a quiz. Yeah, a quiz. Someone sent me a quiz on how frugal are you? And um, yeah, so I'm gonna do it on camera and see what happens. So if this goes bad, maybe I have to rethink the channel. Let's see how we go. Now this quiz is called, hold on, it's down here. How frugal are you? And it's on a website called Miss Many Pennies. So I'll leave the description down below and uh, you can do it yourselves. So uh, let's get going. So question one is, when you're feeling chilly, you, and it gives you A, B, C. So A is turn the heating up, B, put an extra layer, C, do some star jumps. Yeah, I ain't gonna do star jumps. Not built for that. So it's gonna be B for me, put on extra layer. So question two. You have categories in your budget for savings, emergency funds, sinking funds. A is yes. I like to be prepared. B, not yet, but I intend to get around to it one day. C, what's the budget? It's going to be A for me, hopefully. Question three. When you see something you want, four answers here. A, buy it straight away. You've got the money. B, check your budget. Will buying it leave you short? C, leave it for now and reevaluate whether you still need want in a few days. D, whack it on the credit card. Don't whack it on the credit card. No. Now you see this one. There may be a couple here. I'll see B, checking your budget. C, leave it for now, reevaluate. I think C for me is between B and C, but I'll go for C. Next one is when you leave your house, stroke, room in your house, you A, automatically check if the lights are on and switch them off. B, switch off the lights if you notice them on, but don't actively check. C, just leave. Saves you having to put them on when you get back. Yeah, it's uh, it's A for me. Automatically check if your lights are switched off. I'm liking this quiz. Now, if I'm a bit slow, I'm just trying to read them and talk to you at the same time. I can't really do that. <laughs> now, this one, I think we've all done. You get to the supermarket checkout and you discover you've forgotten your reusable bags. I do that sometimes. I've got loads of bags and they're all in the drawer. I forget them. So A, buy bags at the checkout. B, load your shopping into the trolley, put in your car boot, and unload bit by bit at home. Who needs bags anyway? C, this will never happen to me. I never forget my bags. I have an emergency stash in my car just in case. Uh, now, <laughs> I would probably fail at this one. One, I don't have a car, so I, I can't chuck it all in the car. So I'd have to buy a bag at the checkout, reluctantly. Um, so I think I failed on that one. So it's A, I'd have to buy a bag at the checkout. Next one, when something breaks, you try and fix it yourself, pay for someone to fix it, buy a new one, do without. I'll just try and fix it myself. If it's something simple, yeah, you might as well do it yourself. Save, save a bit of money getting someone else out. So uh, it'll be A for me. And please, guys, if you're doing this quiz as well, please put in the comments what you've scored because it, it's, it's a good learning curve, this. It's, it's good. It's, it's a bit of fun. Next one. Uh, when it comes to renewal time, A, Stick with your current provider and just let it renew. 
Always shop around for a better deal. Get an upgrade. You've been fancying something new. B. Always shop around for a better deal. It's time for dinner. Do you? A. Already know what you're going to have. You have a plan and stick to it. B. Look what you've got. Get halfway through cooking. Realise you're missing something and nip to the corn shop and get it. C. Look in your cupboards and throw something together. Beans on toast counts as a main meal, doesn't it? Yeah. D. Half-heartedly think about cooking and order a takeaway. You deserve it. Uh, yeah, it'll be A for me. I kind of have a plan of what I'm going to be eating. Sometimes I deviate from that, as you've seen in some videos. If I get a bit mardy, pissed off, I'll just have a takeaway. I'm an emotional eater. But um, yeah, 95% of the time, it will be A. Have a plan, stick to it, if you can. But life happens sometimes, and you can't help these things. But um, yeah, it'll be A for me. Next question is, let's talk about light bulbs, shall we? A, you're replacing them one by one as they blow. B, you're sticking with incandescent. Oh, I said a big word. They're the cheaper one, right? C, you replace them all with energy saving LEDs. Now, I am replacing them with energy saving LEDs, but one by one as they blow. Um, yeah, I can replace them all. Um, it cost me a bit of money, and it might save money in the long run. But some of my lights, especially the one in here, has five light bulbs, and three of them are blown, two are still going, and there's still plenty of light. And I just don't want to replace them. Not yet. I went till I'm on the last one. So uh, it's A for me. I've no idea what number question we're on. So I'm just going to keep going. Um, the next one is, which is most like you? A, you usually use up most of the things in your fridge before the use by date. B, you often end up throwing things away because they've gone out of date. C, you check for mould, eat it anyway. Used by dates are for wimps. D, you have your fridge organised in the FIFO. I've never heard that one before. First in, first out system. Everything gets used up. Um, on this one, yeah, I'm kind of A and C because. Um, a is usually use up most things in your fridge before they're used by date. Yes, I do. And C is you check for mould and eat it anyway. Um, huh, um, I'll probably go A on that because there's, there's only been a couple of times where things have been left and they're okay. I've had a bit of cheese where there's a little bit of mould just coming on. I've just cut that off and ate it. It was okay. I feel fine. I think. Um, but I'll go A on that because things are usually gone. Next one is, what's your daily go-to? A, a quick shower. B, longer shower so you can practice your X Factor audition solo. <laughs> no. C, a nice soak in the bath. A for me, nice quick shower. Usually five minutes, have a bit of a timer. Try and save a bit of electricity and water. Next one is, when it comes to lunch at work, stroke <coughs> when you're out. Millie says hi, by the way. Um, A, prefer to buy your lunch. <coughs> B, Make a packed lunch and bring it with you. The canteen food sucks anyway. I always do a packed lunch for work. Sometimes in the canteen, if I smell something nice or I have an off day, 
yeah, I'll buy something. But 95% of the time, 99% of the time, I always do a pat lunch. So, hey. Next one is, how about brands? Do you, A, always buy branded goods, they taste better. B, buy cheaper brands for a few items. Or C, buy supermarket brands, it's just as good and much cheaper. Now, I'm kind of B and C on that one. Um, I do buy a lot of own brand stuff. There's no problem with it. It's a lot cheaper, tastes the same, absolutely fine. There is a, some things where you can buy for 20 pence and it tastes like 20 pence. Um, oh, sorry, I just kicked the camera. So I'm, I'm torn between those two on that one. This is a simple quiz. It's, it's quite hard, this. So, um, ah. to be fair, we'll go for B. Buy cheaper brands for a few items because I don't go for every single cheap item. So we'll go B on that one. You're most likely to A, line air dry your clothes. B, pop them in the tumble dryer. It's easier. C, just use your tumble dryer on a wet and wintry days. Okay, that's, yeah, I line dry my clothes all the time. But in the winter, I have to use the dryer. Uh, or I put them in front of the fire if I can. So, yeah. I don't use tumble dryer all the time. But I do use the tumble dryer for bed sheets and uh, throws for the sofa because also I've got Millie and also do get dog hairs and it tends to get them off a lot better. Um, so I don't know what to put on that one. I do line dry clothes. Just use your tumble dryer on wet and, winty, wet and wintry days. Now, I, uh, 90% of my stuff is on the line. So we'll go A. Next one is, do you own and regularly use any of these? A, a reusable water bottle. B, hot drinks flask. C, both. D, never, you prefer to nip to Starbucks while you're out. Yeah, I have both of those. That's an easy one. I have both flask and reusable water thingy. When you shop online, you tend to always search for discount code or better price. Shop through a cashback site. C, both of the above. D, just pay the first price. Never pay the first price. Haggle, find discount codes, do whatever to find a cheaper price. There will always be one out there. Never pay the first price or the full price so uh, that's C for me I use both of the above <laughs> I like this one if you see change lying in the street do you leave it and just keep walking or B pick it up every little helps yeah I pick it up put it in my pocket or I pick it up and put it give it to charity or give it to a busker in the street or something like that but if it's in the street yeah I pick it up so B you are most likely to switch things off at the wall or unplug them leave your appliances on standby overnight no everything is switched off apart from the internet at night obviously um, but I do switch the internet off in the daytime um, the fridge freezer is left on all the time but everything else is turned off at the wall Right, I like this one. Um, what are you more likely to do with your leftovers? Now, hello, Mill. Um, now, I never really have a lot of leftovers because I'm probably greedy. Well, I know I'm greedy. So, leftovers for me are pretty much non existent because I just eat the food anyway. But um, here we go. A, bin them. No. 
B, use for compost. Only the peelings, I suppose. C, use them up. Why waste bones when you can make a lovely stock from a chicken carcass? Yeah, I've done that. I made a video on that. So, uh, C, go for C. When making a cup of tea or coffee, we're at whatever you like. A, fill the kettle to the top to say fill. No, sorry. I'll start again. A, fill the kettle to the top to save. A, fill the kettle to the top to save having to fill it again later. B, guess the amount you need, but invariably, God, there's some big words, go slightly over. C, measure out exactly the right amount of water for a number of cups you're making. D, T, I have cold drinks. No, I like my tea. Everyone knows I like my tea. Um, so it's C for me. I measure out how much water I want in one cup. Put it in, turn it on. Takes about a minute, if that. Oh, end of the quiz. And, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. You scored 83%. It says here, fearless frugal is what I'm classed as with the uh, percentage. Never afraid to take the frugal path. You've trodden it well and learned to be a frugal in most aspects of your life. You're a bargain hunting, savvy shopper and a money saving superstar. Well done. Yay. But it says there's always room for improvement. So to be sure to check out some of our frugal living and saving items, Sorry, articles. I can't read that well. Get some frugal tips. Blah, 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 blah. So it's a really good website, this. Gives you some great frugal tips on there. So, um, yeah, I'm quite happy with that percentage. 83%. Again, it's not perfect. If it was perfect, it would be 100%. But... If it was 100%, I think I'd probably have a quite a boring life because I wouldn't enjoy certain things. And I'm with frugality, be frugal, but you've got to enjoy yourself at the same time. And some of these questions were kind of 50-50 and hit and miss on that because I would do both or all of them and it only gave me, gave me the option for one. Um... But that was, that was a good bit of fun. I like that. I like that a lot. So check out the website. It's MissManyPennies.com. I'll leave it in the bottom for you. Have a go. Put it in the comments, please, what you get, because I'll be very interested to find out. Not to scrutinise people, but it's just a bit of fun. See if we can beat each other, shall we? So come on, give it a go. See what happens. So if you're thinking Millie's quiet, she is next to me. She's having a bit of a, a snooze and uh, trying to chase a fly, which is not going well. You okay, Mill? You gonna come and say hello? No, you have to come. I'll be here. I'll be here. Oh, no, no. There she is. No, the camera's here, look. Oh. Millie says bye. So from me and Millie, have a good day. If you like what you see, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, like what you see, and I'll see you again next time. Stay good, stay happy, stay frugal. See you guys.